we want to set a standard of excellent care for our mothers with every opportunity. Um, we don't want to be participating in this increasing cesarean delivery rate that has led to an increase in maternal mortality in California. The concern with vaginal delivery after cesarean is the very small risk of the scar from the prior cesarean opening up during labor, causing potentially disastrous injury to the baby and to the mother. That injury can be prevented if you're able to do an emergency C-section within about 15 minutes. A lot of our women have socioeconomic issues that um, gives them less of a say in their medical care and we want them to be empowered to have a vaginal delivery if they want a vaginal delivery. We want them to have the best experience with their birth possible. We want them to bond closely with their children, which is helpful to the families in Contra Costa County. We did a literature search and found out that there were no so-called vaginal trial of labor or VBAC bundles that existed. And so we had to survey other hospitals, find out the best practices and policies that existed, put them together in what's known in the community as a clinical care bundle, developing our own VBAC bundle. We developed a physician checklist that goes through each patient looking for any increased risk of uterine rupture or complication from cesarean and a reasonable chance of success. It also guarantees that women are counseled in a same manner so that they have a realistic expectation of what it means to labor after they've had a prior surgical birth. The safety team met together and we came up with criteria that we felt was safe for the patient and then um, we as nurses got together and developed a checklist. After the two checklists we then developed an OB response team which is a team of physicians and nurses and respiratory therapists who are all in the hospital 24 hours a day and if they get a call they know exactly how to respond so that we can um, do an emergency c-section if it's necessary in order to prevent injury to mom and baby. We look at 100% of these cases. We're always looking for improvement. We have a perinatal safety team, which is the multidisciplinary team consisting of nurses and doctors and quality staff, actually looking at every single case after it happens to see what we can make additional improvement. So the best part about all this, I think, are that the moms truly feel like they get the birth that they want. You know, that they actually can get it in a hospital where it's safe and that they feel as if they're successful for motherhood that they've actually fulfilled what their desires and goals were. I think it's been amazing. I have been impressed at how we maintained the vigilance in order to respond to uterine ruptures. We also have lots, an increased rate of vaginal delivery, so we have a lot of mothers who are recovering quickly, breastfeeding well, they're spending time with the family, and their risk for subsequent birth is decreased because they've had a vaginal delivery this time. Well, I love seeing the mom skin to skin with the mother, um, the mom enjoying the baby, the family together. Um, they often let me hold the baby, which I love to do. And I like to see the mom healthy and feeling well and enjoying that first few weeks with the baby. It's such a great start for the rest of their relationship. Um, you know, I don't like it to be a traumatic, anxious, scary time for the mother. And I feel like this system has allowed us to both, um, or to re reduce the anxiety that can happen if everybody is not prepared or is worried that someone else isn't going to understand when there's a problem. I feel confident during prenatal care that I can assure the mom that we will monitor her closely, that we will be ready if there's a problem, and that she really only needs to think about her labor, having her baby, having the best birth experience possible, and she can feel assured, her family can feel assured that we're going to be there in case there is that rare problem.